So we're at the Skunky intro cage and we're imminently about to release the Skunky babies who've been in here for about two months or just under two months. So maybe you can see the purple. We've had to mark them up with the purple dye so that the newer volunteers can tell them apart. Uh, so it's important to know which ones are individually drinking and where they are. So you can see uh, that's Brew. He's got the purple line up his left side of his body and his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's just covered in it. So we're just doing last preparations, checking the enclosure, checking the fences, putting the milk bottles out and just explaining the protocols to everybody. But we're almost ready. Think reggae will go out now? Yeah. Reggae is out. Sometimes not even a new mom can understand what's going on. It's sort of turning around and saying, hey, where are you two? You're supposed to be out here with me. Come on. In paradise. Paradise, okay. Uh, I think we have to change the ropes here. So paradise is just gone. Giving these two boys a cuddle. So we have Kenny and put him back. So that. Oh, and. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think they're happy. <laughs> Is that Jethro also cuddling them? Paradise come back. <laughs> well, sometimes mom's just gonna resort to extreme measures <coughs> to uh, get a little baby out. Okay. So she's out with Kenny, right? Yeah. And there we go, after all that fuss and palaver, finally out with mom and happy, and now we're just left with one, and uh, we've got to see how, uh, how that's going to uh, work its way out. So we've got Pan, who's just taken Kenny. She's still looking back for Poonam. We have Jethro right outside. Our foster dad of last year. Yeah, I can't let them out now. Poor Poonam's been left behind. I think he does, but I think he's scared. Oh. He's gone for the food instead. 
Oh, Poonam. My mommy will come for you, don't worry. <laughs> so Poonam is the last of the three. And we're just looking for one of the females to grab him. Uh, this one's Malawi, just in the center, and she has shown some interest. So this is Martha with Brew. She's the first out and she's about to disappear into the bush. So it's a whole new strange world for this little one, slightly bewildered and looking around at all the new things and the trees and this new environment. Um, I suppose in some ways it must be quite exciting for them, but uh, also they're very grateful they've got a mom to hold on to and, and take them through this initial process. Um, but it's nice to see them out in the bush and out into the semi-wild and, and sort of um, being part of the troop again. Mom's not taking any chances with the little one. She doesn't want anyone else to to hold it or participate at the moment. She says, this is my kid. And uh, she's just, don't know what she saw there, but uh, she's looking after it uh, as best she can. Jethro. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's on her. You always get that one kid who just doesn't behave or pretends he doesn't know what he should actually be doing. And here we have him. So uh, that's going to take a little bit of a while for this one to realize um, he needs to hold on to his mom but just watch how clever mom is here um, as soon as he gets a fright from something else and uh, grabs onto her she makes a plan and uh, manages to get him out of the enclosure oh jet was also very excited he's like quietly lip smoking he's like Oh, oh. Okay. And put him out.
little tricky to see, but up here we have Mags who's just taken Punim. And then down here in the back we have Pan who's carrying Kinney. And then Martha and Brew are somewhere else in the enclosure. So these two have stayed pretty close to the intro cage. And this is baby protector Jethro. He's been around here all morning. If you weren't told, you'd never know they adopted. From this point on, she'll look after it like her own child. And of course, this little one will grow up fearing humans and being a proper monkey again and uh, have every chance in the world of uh, living his life out to the fullest. Chucking loads of like juicy fruits, mm -hmm. soaking water and stuff, so we at least we know that they've had some liquid and stuff. And okay. sometimes we'll put water bowls in the middle if we know they haven't. Sometimes we've even put a feeding cage in the middle um, of the troop mm -hmm. and the workers have had to go and change the bottles because there's been mums that won't allow them to go yeah. run outside, they keep them in the middle. Mm -hmm. But usually all we try getting, throwing seeds around to bring the mums out so that the babies yeah. go. Yeah, we've had a couple of scares with uh, babies not drinking till like the next day. Mm -hmm. We had one that was Little Elgin Gizmo, he um, I think he was like just a week too young, and that's why we always make sure they're at least three months because I don't know, they seem to change a lot with them mm -hmm. that one, one or two weeks. Yeah. And the mum wouldn't let him go at all. And then, and then we ended up, I ended up letting out an old female that I wanted in at Gizmo because I needed, I had one intra cage open, they wouldn't come in. And as soon as I let that old female out, everybody just came in the cage. <laughs> so then I let, got her in later on, mm -hmm. so that we had two cages to get them in. And he was like... Oh. Well, there we have the whole little family, the concerned mothers with their little offspring, um, all looking out that no one else is going to come and take them. We've got our little tag along there who uh, just hasn't met his mom yet, uh, this little Poonam. So, um, although everyone does hug him every now and again, he seems to be like a little outcast of the bunch, always doing something wrong. Uh, or not grabbing on when he's supposed to but uh, he'll do fine and at least he's got two of them looking after them and every now and again another mom comes down and picks him up and uh, takes him with her so uh, it's a nice little group um, and you can see how well they hang on to their moms uh, just like they were born there so it will get uh, take a little while for them to get used to the enclosure and everybody around the area and then of course you'll start seeing them climbing off mum uh, and playing playing around a little bit in the enclosure um, so that it will take a little bit of a while so this is still the first day so everything's sort of new to them uh, discovering things also a little bit scared of what's going on uh, but it shouldn't take too long and we can actually watch this progress as you see that they build up their confidence with the rest of the troop members and some of last year's juveniles who you're seeing there now and uh, as they all get together they'll uh, they'll start playing and having a little bit of fun.
So here we have Benham. It's pretty confident. So um, we have Foster Mom Martha with Brew on her belly and Bonham is following them and trying to cling on Brew's back. You can see little punum sniffing what uh, mom's eating just to pick up the smells. This is also part of the learning process, just to make sure he's also eating the rain, the same stuff, or if he can find the stuff that she's eating and see why she's enjoying it so much. So here we have Brew and foster mom Martha. So little Brew still hasn't built up enough confidence to climb off mom and uh, been hanging on underneath her all this time since she's been out of the intro cage. Um, I suppose he's also enjoying the ride around but he's also learning and tasting some of the seeds, the grass seeds that she's eating. So also part of the learning experience um, and he'll get used to eating them as well. But uh, still a little bit unsure of himself and what's going on. Um, so it'll take him a little bit of a while before actually climbing off mom and starting uh, to discover his surroundings. That's Brew with Martha and Pan grooming Martha. Boy is enjoying some forage as well. So the monkey in front here is drinking from an automatic uh, watering tap. All the enclosures have got these uh, watering points in them that the monkeys can help themselves as well as getting water bowls because it's very very hot out here and important that they've always got fresh water to drink. Uh, main feed has sort of been given out to everybody and you can see how the little ones are climbing in there with the rest of them all eating foraging which would be the normal behavior um, and all keeping a lookout. Normally your males at this point would be sitting up in the in the tree branches making sure there's no danger around or anything not that there's much danger in this time um, so sometimes they come down and sort of eat first and uh, then climb up to the higher points and sort of watch what's going on to make sure there's no trouble but here's the whole little family enjoying some pawpaws mangoes i think there's uh, butternut there sweet potato um, so really got got a, a nice meal and of course the white pieces you're seeing are uh, from cabbage leaves.
So we have brew and put him brew being carried by Martha and Pan is also here. And this is Paradise, alpha female, and also Martha and Pan's mother. So this in theory would be the top family in the troop, or the leaders of the troop, the hierarchy. So uh, these two little ones are in very, very good hands. We say born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Um, because they're basically being looked after by the, by the top ranking and of course they'll take the same ranking until they're old enough if they're males. Goliath we've just cut the grass in front of the cage because these babies moved up earlier than expected because the other five arrived so um, we needed to get the grass cut otherwise we can't see they can't see the mums through the fence so they need to get used to the adult monkeys and uh, nobody's come up so far since the grass has been cut so we'll see how they do there's Fritz on the rope and then Art hugging Aurora Art does like to cling to Aurora a lot. There's an adult male approaching. <coughs> they all quickly run on my lap. They also uh, just jumped on my lap when there was an alarm call for an eagle, which is good. It's good that they get used to all the alarm calls from the other monkeys around. We're very lucky here because there's a lot of monkeys, then they learn very quickly and a lot of it is also instinctive. Fritz. It's so great to see Fritz playing. So left is Art, then Aurora underneath, and then Fritz on the right. Mrs. Gold is by the fence. One of our best mummies. Babies are not so happy though. Is that? So that we're watching the monkeys go by at main feed time. In fact, Fritz seems the most confident whilst Aurora and Art hug each other.
this is what they can see through the bars because there's obviously a lot of mesh that you can't really see but um, this is what they're looking out to when the monkeys come past for main feed then they see them So they're scared of the adult males, which is quite natural at this age. But they quickly go back to the fence again. with Martha. Well here we have uh, Martha with uh, all the little ones. Brew naturally underneath her. Kenny uh, looking like a little bit frightened running along on the side of her. And of course uh, little Punam the independent one hanging around at the back and uh, sort of doing his own thing. So uh, I'm sure one of the other mothers are going to come and help and step in just now. But at the moment, uh, all of them are um, holding on to Martha or hanging around Martha. Bruce still hasn't sort of let go. Kenny must have let go his mom for a while. And uh, she's probably taking a, taking a break somewhere. Yeah. And Kini. Rene. Oh no, it's been in. <laughs> there is Rene.
So in the middle now we have uh, Renee, one of last year's orphans. On the left, Alpha Female Paradise. On the right, her daughter Pan. And then our newly released orphans, uh, Poonam at the front and then Kinney, just visible at the back there. And good to see they find the food piles. Getting a good feast of papaya. They've yet to find the feeding cages and drink milk, but as long as they're getting some some food, and of course the papayas got high water content. So it does take them a while uh, to get used to the feeding cages and also to find the confidence to run over to them and drink. Uh, which is why we wait till they're three months old as they're a bit more independent at that stage. We have some purple dye on them um, just to help us identify them. So here we have our little family uh, waking up of their first morning of their first night out. Uh, still all, all huddle, huddled together in the tree. So it uh, looks like everything went well. They were all in a nice safe position, which is great. Um, so the mums have taken them up into a nice protective area. And uh, this is really what you want to see. Mm -hmm. So, we have the three babies here. So one here, and two there are here.
So early morning of the first day after they've been out, uh, monkeys are starting to get active as the sun starts coming up. So they're normally up just before the sun rises and start uh, moving around and starting to forage and everything like that. Um, so you can see they're all here in their little group, all getting ready to start moving around um, to explore their environment and see how things are going on. So the night went very well. Um, you can see all the mothers still holding on to them nicely. Babies all looking happy. So uh, very nice um, results from, from this integration. So here we have the three babies together. Eating some papaya. So that's everyone down on the ground near the feeding area looking for food and foraging. So of course that's what the monkeys uh, do best. Um, Kinney of course is the one with the purple mark on the on the shoulder or purple stain on the shoulder. Um, the one on the ear is uh, punum and then with the purple line running down the, the leg, leg is brew. So uh, you can just tell them apart every now and again when, when they're separating. Mom's looking out, evidently heard some noise somewhere, so just looking out for the little ones. Um, but this is great to see them all foraging and looking for little things in the grass and everything like this and uh, doing what little monkeys should be doing. And this is skinny. Then we have Bru. And then put him in the middle. Alpha female paradise and the baby from last year, Renee and Button. So, this is Button, this is Renee. Yes. It 
might not look like much, but uh, for us uh, integrating these They're monkeys, this is probably about one of the most important aspects of the whole thing, is to make sure they're actually able to go into the feeding cage and find their milk and feed themselves. Um, and so it's now they are, quite a yeah. great thing when we actually see them all managing to do it. As you yes, can see, the all, all three popped in there, left their moms, the moms are waiting outside, and uh, the little ones are drinking on their own. So once we know they can do that, we're a lot more satisfied because we know they can start looking after themselves and things will be a lot better in the, in the open enclosure. One of last year's orphans, I just can't think of the name at the moment, making sure the pathway is all clear and I'm sure we'll try and get in to go and help herself uh, to some milk if she can fit in, um, but also just keeping an eye over the little one, um, so also learning the tactics from the mother how to um, bring up little babies and, and care for them. So even from that young age, um, they start wanting to look after the little ones and participate in the whole role. Um, of looking after the youngsters. There's Punim clinging to Boo. Penny's up in the tree with one of the mums. Noisy here with the strimmers, but the monkeys don't seem to mind, they're used to it now. Now 
guys Tom looking after them. She's the alpha female's daughter. Paradise's daughter. Pinny. We have Kenny. Hi, Kenny. And Punam. They're both in Drinking from the Feeding Cage. And as you can see, they have all their bodyguards, especially Button. Looking out, making sure they're all good. Yes, button. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Button! So as you can see, now we have Bunham and Button drinking from the feeding cage. <gasps> hey, Rox! Hey, my boy! What do you want, Button? <laughs> so this is Punam and Kinney and Hi Button um, having one last bite to eat probably before they go off to bed and as you can see, Button is being very protective as she keeps popping her head up, eyebrow -like.
Oh, awesome. So it's our skunky boy's second night out. Right here we have um, Kenny with Renee and Button. And just over here we have Punam and Brew. Oh, Kenny's joined them. So they've been very playful, had something to eat, drank some milk. So it should be bedtime soon. Just waiting till it gets a little bit darker and the mum should be taking them away for bed. So there's Punam coming closer. Just behind him, Kinney and little Princess Brew, I'm sure, is with those two females. And there's Button trying to show off her foster mom skills. <laughs> yep, there's Bruce's little face. Thanks again everybody for watching and your course, tremendous support. Um, it's really making a difference in these little yeah. ones' lives and helping us carry on. Please do visit our patron. It's I have put up a little ad for it. It doesn't cost Brew. much to join and you do get on more stories and information coming uh, on a weekly basis, which is great. But thanks again for your support watching our adverts, sharing us on your different channels. Uh, we almost so reached 40,000 people now, which is fantastic. Look forward to meeting you all next week with the next video. Thank you.